like to talk to you really quickly about the coming destruction of Silicon Valley and all the modern technology stuff. I've seen a lot of things with Elon Musk and a lot of the other high-tech people out there, um, and, they're, and they're all upset about how that they've created the technology, the artificial intelligence, and all this other stuff that's going to put an end to people and the world as we know it. Calm down. Um, as a Bible-believing preacher, I know you don't believe in the Bible and whatever, but I can tell you, if you would open your mind a little bit, I can tell you that your whole system is going to be destroyed in the future. I'll give you the scriptures for it. First of all, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18, you need to understand your condemnation, how the Bible condemns you and your system. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. And here's the key, shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. You're destroying the earth with your high technology. You know it. The Wi-Fi, the, all the artificial intelligence stuff, and all these other things. You're destroying the earth. You are part of the problem. Okay? If you're from Silicon Valley, if you're one of these people, and I don't hate you. I'm trying to warn you right now. I'm trying to give you what the Bible says about your future. But here's where your system is destroyed. Revelation chapter 16, verse 7 and I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. Now what would happen if there would be a solar flare to all your technology? And I'm talking a big one, a real bad one. Let's look what happens. Verse 9, And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seed of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their swords, and repented not of their deeds. So, great heat, men are scorched with great heat. I would take that in, in modern scientific terms to be called a solar flare. And then the lights go out, and they're gnawing their tongues for pain because there's no light. Artificial light is all gone. Huh. Interesting. You say, well, that's just a, a, a book of fairy tales. That's ridiculous. I don't see how anybody that's scientific would take that seriously. Well, let me just give you one more verse of Scripture to think on. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. You're deceiving yourself thinking that you've created this system that's going to... And it, it, it will hurt people in the immediate future. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a lot of the high-tech stuff and, and whatever else. Even the stuff that's been released to the public. Things that I know about. It's bad. It's really bad. The, all the social media, cell phone. I mean, you get into all of that stuff. How it's changing people's brains. And, of course, you know, facial recognition technology and the surveillance police state and, and spying and tracking everybody, what they do. The elimination of free will. Internet of Things. I, I, I don't understand it perfectly like somebody from the industry, but I know some things about it. And you're deceiving yourself if you think that you've created the end of the world, that you've somehow, you know, everything's going to fall apart because God's going to wipe your system out. Let no man deceive himself. If any among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Become a fool. The preaching of the cross is to them that perish. Foolishness. You have to become a fool. And start uh, reading this King James Bible. Get down on a level where people think you that you're an uneducated hillbilly. Get out of that system that you're in. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. All your high-tech stuff is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. All the little stuff that you've done with your behavior modification and everything else that you've people have done, God's actually going to take you in it unless you come out of it. He's actually going to judge you with that very system. He's going to bring it down, and you won't know what to do with yourself now, will you? How do you go out and get food without the high-tech world that you live in? How do you provide heat, and cooling, and clothing, and, and all the other stuff without your high-tech world? 
he's going to take you in your own craftiness. Hmm. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. What you're doing is vain right now. It's in vain. You're wasting your life. You're wasting your time. You better uh, kind of come down a few notches. Become a fool. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ and say, just pray to God and say, God, this high-tech stuff I'm part of, it's destroying the earth. I don't want to be part of this anymore. I want to be able to sleep good at night. And if that means I'm in some tent out in the middle of nowhere or whatever else, away from the power grid, no cell phone, no whatever, I just run away from technology, I want to become a fool so that I can be wise. I'm blind right now, God. I don't see things spiritually. I want to know the truth. There is a way out, okay? And it's not with a better technology that somebody will come up with to make it nice and everything else. Get over yourself, all right? Nobody's going to come up with a new technology to save the world and whatever else. It's all going downhill, and God himself is going to step in and say, boom, it's over. They're groping around. They can't even find a way to, to, to have any light in the future. So dependent on technology. How sad. You're part of an evil system if you're part of Silicon Valley. If you're part of the high-tech world, you're part of a very evil thing, and you need to get away from it. Become a fool so that you can be wise. Thank you for watching. King James Video Ministries has been faithfully preaching and teaching from God's Word since 2008. Our YouTube channel has never been monetized, and we do not accept money from the lost world because this would violate the Scriptures. King James Video Ministries is supported by saved brethren in accordance with 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 17-18. through 18. If you have been blessed by our videos, we would ask that you prayerfully consider supporting this ministry financially. You can donate online by visiting www.kingjamesvideoministries.com or by sending a check or money order to King James Video Ministries, P.O. Box 214, Patton, Maine, 04765. Thank you to all who donate to this ministry, and we pray for the Lord's blessing in your lives.